Hey, what's up everybody and uh, welcome to this war of mine. Now you may remember a couple of weeks back I've already uh, tested this game the press demo and it looked pretty promising. You're only allowed to uh, Reach up to about 12 days in the press demo, but now you get to experience the full thing the game will be out in uh, I Think it's on the 14th the game will come out and you get to have a bit of fun in it now, what's the game all about? As I mentioned in the previous video, you're a survivor in the war, there's no zombies, there's none of that, like you've been pretty much used to these days, they're all survival games. It's a different kind of survival game. This little dollhouse of yours will make you take some really tough decisions along the way. Now, I didn't really think the game would be that deep, but actually it is. It's going to be a lot of thinking, a lot of decision making about, do I really want to keep this guy alive if he's sick or not? Do I want to spend the resources to keep him going or do I just let him die off? But letting him die off, you'll affect the morale of the other housemates, as it were. You start off with two or three characters and that's all going to change how you do things along the way. You know, your characters can commit suicide. They can decide that while you're out at night looting to raid your shit and leave... And that's gonna set you back a lot of time. And that's gonna probably end up killing you. Uh, the amount of time you spend in this house is the daytime. In the daytime, you can do all this. You can uh, cook food here. You can, uh, here, I'll just show you the metal workshop and uh, the other workshop here, what you have. And these are some of the things that you can build. You can build yourself armchairs, moonshine still, rainwater collector, herbal garden. You know, if you need your herbs. That's the place to do it. Traps, uh, stove, beds, all sorts of crap that you can have. Look, there's somebody coming at my door. Can you open the door, please? I have no bad intentions. Let's see who this is. What you talking about, Willis? Let's see what you want. All right, open the door, man. Hey, what's up? Uh, can I stay with you? Look, there's a... I, I can let her stay with me if I want. If I think I have enough resources, I can let her stay with me. Give me a sec. So you can either go and look at your resources again and make sure, do I have enough? Is she sick? Is she ill? Can I really afford to let her live with me? Is that going to help me along the way? Is it going to be too much trouble for me to let her live with me? Now, it's not really nice as the game sort of makes it for you to leave somebody out because there, everybody has a little information here without help our neighbor's house in, is much more vulnerable so you need to help people you can go out and shoot people but that's going to be pretty bad for your character because you're going to have the morale down it's going to be broken so he's not going to do anything he's just going to sit there and mope all day long so tricky situations all way along and a lot of decisions to be made uh right let's go ahead and say yes just for the sake of it, let's close this. Right, she's slightly hungry, so we'll get a seat to have some food. She's slightly sick and she's tired, so she'll go and take some medicine. See, I'm already starting to kind of regret my decision for leaving her to, to come and stay with me. Even though uh, these women need to have a little chat, because that's what women do. And I can always decide, that's it, I've got nothing else to do around the house. Fire's going, the traps are working, I've built whatever I needed. Now the next thing what I need to do is I need to head out at night and do some looting. So let's do that. Now you can look at the slots here. You have 12 slots with this, so obviously I'll scavenge with that because she can carry more stuff. These are some of your locations where you can go out. Military outpost, I've already been there, you can see it's at 92%, so I've already cleaned that out. Uh, we could go out, I need building materials, so I could go to either the construction site, which I've already been there one day ago and I've cleaned it, but it's only at 3%. So what I'll do is I'll put her on guard, I'll get her to sleep, that to scavenge, and we'll prepare by taking a gun, 20 bullets, Okay, I need I need to shoot something and some armor. I'm carrying something with me. So now I know that I'm going to need a lot of parts and food. That's what I need. So let's get up here. See what's down here. Now remember, out here is everybody for himself. They're all trying to kill you. 
Some of them will be friendly, some of them will try and trade with you and everything, but mostly they will not want to trade. <laughs> they will want to shoot you, because <laughs> you're probably trying to steal their own stuff. And that's the cool thing about the game, you know, it's making you always question what you're doing. Is this right? Should I steal from this guy? Should I... If you steal from, let's say, somebody that has nothing, he'll end up dying, and that's going to affect the morale of your... of your character. Now, again, I need the saw blade in order for me to cut through that. And that's about as much as I can take with this, uh, with this trip. I can head back. Now, obviously, I don't need to take the gun with me, and I don't need to take the bullets, and I don't need the bullet, uh, the, sorry, the armor. But always be prepared, eh? You never know what's gonna happen. And I know there's people around here because it pretty much tells you there's danger here. So you need to be out. So I'm gonna head all the way back. And through the magic of the internet, I would have made it a lot more days than 11. So as the night turns into day, it's dawning me on day 40 and I have been robbed. Mother... He, somebody stole... I mean, I've boarded up the doors, the windows and everything. They're still stealing from me, man. That's because I'm putting them to sleep instead of having uh, one guy guard. I do have one of them that's sick and he's in a bad way. I don't think he's going to make it. And as it turns out, he probably won't till the end. He's kind of in a bad way. I'm not sure if I have enough meds and stuff like that to keep him going. But the long story short is that everything you do has... An implication in the game and that's what I love about the game I mean if this game would have been first person and you do the same thing but in first person this game would have been triple-a amazing uh, the fact that is just like it looks like a little bit like of a dollhouse it's gonna be a deterrent for a lot of people are gonna say and eh, not really for me but for me I enjoy this and those of you that want to try the game I've mentioned this before developers gonna message me a couple of codes as soon as I get them I'll uh, Go ahead and choose a couple of people on Facebook and Twitter who've been pretty active, and that's that. You get to try the game. But that's the one thing I love about the game is that you get to make choices that have an actual implication to your character rather than, as I said earlier on, eh, just kill another three dudes and that's it. Your choice is over. It's not. Your character will die. He will do something that you're not expecting him to do, and that's, that's what makes the game fun for me anyway. So if we skip again from day 40 to many more days, I have survived the war. I have managed to get right to the end. Now, I do want to go back and try it differently, see what I've, I could do better. Maybe I don't have to kill anybody. Maybe I can have all the original characters carry on and doing the same sort of job in surviving the war. There's many things you can try differently. I can just go around shooting everybody. I can always try and be more helpful to people, you know, people that come to your door and ask for your help. You can actually go out. Uh, you'll lose a character for the day. He'll go out and he'll help him out and eventually he'll come back with a few supplies or whatever he's got on back from helping that particular person. Overall, it's a simple little game, but yet very complicated, uh, making you think, do I really want to make that decision? And that's what I like about the game. Uh, it's pretty cheap. Uh, you can get the game on Steam. It's about $16.99, I think it is, uh, US dollars. Or $17.99 or $16.99 US dollars. So that's going to be pretty cheap when it comes down to Europe. And it's been long since I really felt that I made a choice in a video game. You know, your decision really mattered. So, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I will see you in the live stream with some Assassin's Creed Unity. That's it for me. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Facebook, Twitter for the keys. And I'll see you in the next one. Out.